Of all the valves in the heart that break, the mitral valve is the one that we can actually repair most of the time. So what happens when a mitral valve breaks? Usually the problem is it begins to leak. We term a leaking mitral valve regurgitation. The cause of the leak or regurgitation is most often mitral valve prolapse. And I'm sure you've heard that term, mitral valve prolapse. And maybe you've thought, what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. When we have mitral valve prolapse, it means that the valve becomes floppy. And these two leaflets, the anterior leaflet or flap and the posterior leaflet, no longer meet in the middle because one of the valves is floppy or prolapses. Mitral valve prolapse occurs because one of these cords becomes too long or breaks. So imagine this. This cord right here snaps, just suddenly snaps. That means that a portion of the valve right in here is no longer held down. It becomes too floppy. Just like if you have a parachute and say one of the struts on the parachute breaks, the canopy, which is like these flaps, the canopy no longer holds air. In this case, it's blood leaking backward. But good news, we can fix that. And I'm sure you can think immediately of one easy way to fix it. Yes, we make a new cord. If that cord is broken, we can take in the operating room a piece of Gore-Tex and just make a new one. Alternatively, we can actually cut out a small piece of the valve, cut out a little triangular piece or a pie-shaped piece, just like that. And now we've removed the part of the valve that was prolapsing or unsupported. We then sew the leaflet together and you have a new working valve again. The final step in all of these repairs is that we put a ring around the valve. The ring is termed an anguloplasty and you could think of that as a belt. It just goes around the valve and it pushes in, helping to push those leaflets together so that you get a nice tight seal and there you have it a mitral valve that's been repaired and now works.